Hello guys, this is question 5.49 and the statement of this question is The probability that a person living in a certain city owns a dog is estimated to be 0.3 Okay, so the probability given here is 0.3 Find the probability that the 10th person, okay The 10th person randomly interviewed in that city is the 5th one to own a dog Okay, so what is given here, let me write here this is the given data in given data we have to write that the probability that a person owns a dog is 0 0.3 okay and also we have to find the probability that the 10th person randomly interviewed in that city is the fifth one to own a dog okay so 10th person who is interviewed is actually the fifth person who owns a dog okay we have to find the probability of it okay so uh, let me write here this probability as well and this is it so now in solving this question what do we have to do let me draw the diagram for it so diagrammatically we can write it like suppose we have these 10 slots okay we have these slots one two three up to this 10th slot one two three up to this 10th slot Okay. so here in order to write that whether a person has a dog or not yes y is for a person owns a dog and and for person doesn't own a dog okay so therefore writing it here this 10th person will be the fifth one who owns a dog so it will be y five okay also all previously here we will have all the four y's okay so those would be let me write here y1 y2 y3 y4 anyone and fifth one will be here all others will be the person who doesn't own the dogs so those would be and one and two and three and four and five okay so five person here will be the people who doesn't own the dog while the four ones here will be the person who doesn't who owns the dog okay so therefore this will be what this will be the probability here and here in order to write them here what would we get for this combination here we would get here the total number of people who owns the dog would be 0.3 which is the probability that a person on the dog 0 0.3 multiplied by 0 0.3 multiplied by 0 0.3 multiplied by 0 0.3 and multiplied by 0 0.3 why is it because this is y1 y2 y3 y4 and y5 and multiplying them all together we will get what we will get the probability that a person uh, all the persons that who owns the dog this is the probability for them and also for them as well we have to multiply their probability as well and it would be 1 minus 0 0.3 so 0 0.7 0 0.7 0 0.7 multiplied by 0 0.7 and 0 0.7 as well these are all multiplied with them as well so it is n1 n2 n3 and four and and five so here we will get what it would be the answer of it would be 0 0.3 raised to the power 5 and 0 0.7 raised to the power 5 this is for what this is for this specific combination okay but keep it in your mind that there is a possibility that here we can have n1 here we will have y1 and here we will have uh, y2 and so on there can be many combinations for these nine 
items okay and each nine item will give us this probability okay you know that there are n there are nine items and out of those nine we can have here four yes so this is what this is clearly the combinatorial problem where this one is true for only a specific combination while to find the total number of combinations what do we have to do we have to find the nine choose these four okay these four are the yes so we have to multiply them with this probability just like we have done in the binomial probability therefore this one is called the negative binomial probability okay so now writing it here what will we get here we have the total number of items equal to 9 before it and out of 9 we have the combinations of these four okay so this one here and also multiplying them with 0 0.3 raised to power 5 and 0 0.7 raised to the power 5 as well okay so finding it here we will get 9 factorial divided by this 4 factorial and 9 minus 4 is 5 factorial writing it here as well so 0 0.3 raised to the power 5 and 0 0.7 raised to the power 5 as well okay now multiplying them and then finding the answer of it we will get 0 0.0 five one five and that is what that is basically the solution of our question 5.49 okay uh, so that's it for today in which we have discussed the negative binomial probability if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon